Hey guys, so a lot of you have been saying that I, I need to, that I need, I need to shave. I need to shave. Okay. I'll, okay. Fair enough. I need to shave. I'll get back to you in a sec. Then. Okay. I need to shave. Bye. Okay, there we go. But there we go, I assume that's what you wanted. I mean, yeah, I shaved. You didn't say how much to shave, but yeah, I just took a guess. Right, so you might remember a few days ago. At least I hope you remember a few days ago. If you don't, then maybe, maybe get that checked out. But I made this video about Wish stuff and how I bought a, a, a bunch of complete garbage from Wish. Or just the weirdest or sketchiest stuff I could find to have a look at it. Well, this video is me trying out that, that said stuff. Um, yeah, at least a few of the things. So, yeah. But first, a quick message from our sponsor. Oh wait, hold on, I'm getting, I'm getting a call, I'm getting a question, hold up. Huh, that's a very good and very specific question that I'm more than happy to answer. Also, welcome back, mate, haven't seen you in a while. Bye. Well, you can get something like that, Mr. Bagger, from Vincero Watches, the sponsor for this video. Now, Vincero offers very premium, good-looking and feeling watches for a fraction of the price of what you would pay for... Hold on, hold on. I'm not very good at putting watches on. For just a fraction of the price of most premium watchmakers. They have a really wide selection of watches for both men and women. And personally, I recommend the Karos Blue Slash Brown. It's one of the most affordable watches. And it also goes with a lot of things. It's very easy to wear. The leather feels nice. It's just a good all-round watch. And on top of that, just for a limited time, if you use the code SLAZO and use the link in the description, you can get 15% off your purchase. I personally recommend these guys. They've been one of the most consistent sponsors on this channel. And I can personally vouch for their good, easy to wear with anything watches. I recommend them a lot. Anyway, thanks to those guys, on with the video. So yeah, shout out to those guys. Um, they've been great and they helped me to live, which is nice. Anyway, moving on. Right, so I've been spending this whole day recording the sections for this video and hopefully I can have this out in time. I'm, I'm just recording this like probably an hour before this video goes up, so. Hi. Alright, so firstly, a friend and I decided we would go and test out the drone from that video since just below the schlong enlargement cream, that's the thing I thought was least likely to actually work. So, here's that. Okay, hey guys, here we are in somewhere, some place. I'm not sure if we're allowed to be here, so we're gonna be quick. Uh, we just want to see if this, if this very expensive $50 drone, um, a pretty average price drone, I would say. We're gonna see if it works. Um, so yeah, let's set it up. Let's see if it actually flies. Don't throw it. It's a very <laughs> expensive piece of equipment. Very, very expensive. Does it even have a camera in it? Yeah, I think it's just... <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's just a <laughs> hole. It's just a Oh, this is a hole where the camera should be. Brilliant. Okay guys, so basically in conclusion, it it doesn't fly. Okay, so basically what's happened here <laughs> is we've just discovered that Faisal, the genius 800 IQ, uh, put the batteries in the wrong way in the remote. So we're gonna try again. Um, <laughs> this time with the batteries in the right polarity. Let's just try that again. Alright. <laughs> I kind of got the hang of it. Does this one make okay, you okay. Sick? Dude! Oh. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Basically, after a lot of trial and error and random button pressing, and and getting the batteries right in the remote and Faisal, we finally got the drone working. For a total of about 30 seconds. So yeah, um, if you want to think that sort of flies sometimes and is kind of hard to control, I recommend. Okay, now next up, we have got the <laughs> the phone lens from that video, which I tested out a bit in that, but I figured um I'll I would really put my photography chops to the test. You know, I'd really I would really go all out. So yeah. And now do keep in mind that this thing came out of the box <laughs> with with crumbs on it and what felt like oil. Yeah, so right from the offset, this wasn't the best unboxing experience. 
This is my Linus Tech Tips review right now. It wasn't the best. But you know, who cares about the packaging? Who cares about all that? If it's a good product that delivers some mm, nice quality photos. Really? Hey, what's up? My name is Michael Adams, the professional photographer. <laughs> you may have heard of me. Okay, you've definitely heard of me, but now I'm trying out my new toy. Samsung Galaxy Note 9 with like a $2 lens from Wish, okay? I think we're gonna get some pretty good shots with this, okay? We're gonna get some pretty good composition, some good leading lines, some good symmetry or something. All the buzzwords, okay? We're, we're gonna get all the buzzwords. Okay, now that's all well and good, but now let's move on to my signature, okay? Landscape. Angel Adams, get out of here. Your son, Michael Adams, uh, a professional beyond what you've ever done. See, look at this. Mmm, 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 that flash really added to it, that auto flash. <laughs> oh, okay, look at this. Ansel Adams, me. Dad, me. Okay, like, professional photographer, get out of here, man. Yeah, there we go. I'm, I know what you're talking about. It looks, it looks good to me. Okay, next up is the one I was probably looking forward to the most. The Noodle Enlargement Cream. Alright, so next up is the Schlong Enlargement Cream featuring Evolution. So, um, I'm not putting this on my member because I don't want to have it disintegrated by some, by some Chinese chemicals. So instead I'll be using a banana, the, the closest fruit equivalent. Is banana? Yeah, banana's a fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, it is, it is. <laughs> so here we go, to apply, just, uh, just make a solid line on top, and... And now, we place that there for, for a couple days and see the results, okay? Just don't move it for several days. And there we go, brilliant. Um, much bigger, works just as advertised. What? What? Are you, what? what? The 18 inches wasn't enough. What does it taste like? Yeah, it tastes like grape too. It's, it's weird. Let me, let me taste it. It no. <laughs> okay, now next up is a bit more of a wholesome family-oriented experience. Oh, So basically, I went and ordered these My Peanut Butter Spoon and Mum's Peanut Butter Spoon. S spoons. Just because I looked at them and thought, what the hell is a peanut butter spoon and what makes it different from any other kind of teaspoon? It's just the longer spoon, is that it? I've seen long teaspoons, they're not peanut, bu peanut butter spoon. Anyway, I thought I would go and offer it to my mum. Give my mum a peanut butter spoon, you know really give back. So, this is that. Okay, so next up, I thought, um, you why not, why not share the love and, <laughs> and you know those My Peanut Butter Spoon, Mum's Peanut Butter Spoon? I thought I'd see what my mum thinks about it. I'd, I'll offer it to her, you know, give back to the person who gave so much to me. So, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call my mum now, see if she wants a dedicated spoon for, for peanut butter for some reason. Here we go. Hey mum. Hey, I I hope I didn't call it a bad time. No, it's okay. You you sound like you were just sleeping. Uh, should I wake you up? No, 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 I'm okay. I'm just laying on the lounge. Okay, okay. Um, I I was just wondering, were you in need of a peanut butter spoon at all? What the hell's that? Well, it's a spoon for peanut butter. Isn't any spoon a spoon for peanut butter? No, but it says peanut butter spoon on it. Oh. Um, yeah, well, I don't have one. Well, do you want one? Um, okay. Okay, cool. Mission successful. That was, that was brilliant. Your mum was very nonchalant about getting a peanut butter. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, so there we go. I I only tested out a few things. I'd be willing to do more, more things like this in future if if this video is received well, or if anyone even watches it. But yeah, there we go. Wish, in summary, it's not as bad as, <laughs> as I set out thinking it was. Like, the shipping didn't take 
like it took a while. It wasn't fast, but it wasn't as slow as I kind of thought it might be. And also, like the products aren't great. Like they're not, you know, good. Uh, what it is, is basically just a really huge online dollar store. And for that, it does the job, I guess. Now, obviously it's good content for a video because it, it can be a little shitey sometimes. <laughs> like what the hell are these? But ultimately it's fine. If you just want something simple, like that spider, which is awesome. Like I stand by, I, I love that spider. Or you just want a really overpriced picture of Michael Fassbender or a ding ding, which, <laughs> which it turns out that thing's called, which is kind of adorable. Then yeah, wish will do the job. And if you're looking for a drone that flies, you know, it, it gets up in the air. It, it doesn't do a whole lot more though. The, then wish is good. But if you're looking for like a proper lens or <laughs> a penis enlargement cream, then maybe it's not the place for you. But yeah, there we go. I've really enjoyed making this video as tired as it has made me. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it and yeah, that's about that. I appreciate the support the last video got. Um, you guys seem to like that a bit. So I hope this one will be similar. You know, um, yeah. And I would love to do more stuff like this. I'm still working on that joining an anti-vaccine Facebook group video. So look forward to that. I think it's going to be really good. And I've got a couple more in the works that I think you guys are really going to like. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy them when they come out. And yeah, um, yeah, I do think that continuing making like genuinely good stuff with enough persistence will lead to bigger numbers. At least I, I hope so. And I hope you guys will stick around for it. Uh, anyway, I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're new here, be sure be sure to subscribe and watch my other video, eh? And if there's anything else you'd like to see, be sure to comment it at the mega thread. I've got a few blah, blah, I've got a few ideas that I'm currently working on from there, so you guys are helping out. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Honestly, if I saw that damn thing in my living room, I'd stomp on it until it was a small brown stain.